What's up, everybody? Welcome back to That Adventure Life. I am Dustin. And I'm V. And as you know, both Dustin and I love taking photos uh, and video on our hikes. Well, more so him than me. You know, let's hit him with a highlight reel. One of the biggest challenges that we found on all of our crazy adventures is how to keep this camera safe. We usually use a camera strap, you know, like normal human being would do, <laughs> to bring it on the hike. The only issue is when we do more dangerous hike, the camera keeps swinging around and it's really hard to keep it stabilized and then doesn't have to hold on to it with one hand and then use his other hands to climb up or down boulders or it's not really, really safe at all. So we have to find another way to secure the camera, not only for its safety, because I mean, it's expensive and we don't want to spend a lot of money on it. Uh, and then it's also for another safety of both of us, because I mean, that's really dangerous to do climbing up ropes uh, with just one hand. Mm -hmm. So um, we found uh, another way, another option actually. Yeah, I've been a huge fan of spider holsters and other products for a long time now. And when I saw the uh, backpacker, it seemed like it might be a really good option for this. Now this isn't really much of an unboxing because we don't have the box anymore. We actually have this piece for almost a year, so we don't really have the box anymore. <laughs> no. We love it so much, we use it. I mean, you can see it, it's torn and being used for multiple, like long hikes, tons of hikes, canyoneering trips, uh, crazy, crazy adventures. So we put this throughout, the, through a lot of experience. So, you know, a lot of work uh, mm -hmm. that's go through these. So this is how we're gonna give our honest reviews because we really tested out, put it through all the fires, so. Yeah, we uh, did, that's for sure. It's definitely uh, been well loved. <laughs> very, very loved. So what you would find inside the box, if we had one, is obviously the backpacker, which is a sturdy little unit. It's got a little pad here to keep the camera from pounding into your chest. There's this little rubber strap that will help keep it from sliding up and down on your backpack strap. There's the back piece of the backpacker, which could um, cause you to rage quit a little bit, which we'll get to that in just a second. There is a GoPro adapter that would switch out with the camera holder. We'll also cover that in a little bit. And there is the base plate for the camera. It has a nice little Arca Swiss plate built in so you can bolt it right onto your tripod. And it also has a quarter 20 thread that you can use to mount either a camera strap or another base plate for a tripod. So the next step is to install the camera plate on to the bottom of the camera. So Dustin is gonna show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. It has a little D ring at the bottom. So you just can put it in there and just, you know, twist it and it'll stay. You don't need any extra tool, which is super amazing because we don't want to bring extra tool on our adventures. So just a little twist and you're good to go. And then you do have, um, this little pins right here at the bottom and this is where it will attach onto your the little backpacker but one of the things that i noticed about this thing is that it has the little pin stick out right here it's necessary but it can be annoying to some people it's i mean we don't really find it too inconvenient but i know people would say oh it's sticking out too much so that's yeah, it can have a little bit of an interesting feel in the hand, you know, if you're holding yeah. your camera, it's just kind of like something, but over time, you just seem like you kind of get the hang of it. And, you know, sometimes I can even like pinch it between my fingers or something like that. Yeah. It seems like it might even give a tiny bit more grip. I don't know. I kind of like it. <laughs> just you. <laughs> yeah, just me, evidently. Huh? <laughs> For hikers and adventurers that are concerned about the weight, the system only weighs 5.3 ounces, so that's pretty much nothing, and I'm sure your camera weighs a heck of a lot more than that. Well, it's specifically designed for smaller cameras, such as a mirrorless, um, not so much for a full frame camera, even though we've seen people on hikes with them. Uh, I don't think we, 
we don't recommend it just because we don't really want to test out. I mean, if you want, if you, you know, if you want to, you can. Yeah. But we rather not chance, you know, the expensive camera on there. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to push it to the point of failure. That's for mm -hmm. sure. I mean, it works great for a GoPro or a smaller camera because you do put a lot of weight on the side of your shoulder because the way it designs, it's just go on one side of your shoulder. So it's put a lot of weight on that. So for like longer hikes, we did 10 miles. It's, it's a lot of, you know, it's a long time for it to be on your side. But one thing that we really liked about this particular design is that this little camera hooked and it, it came out. So just like that, it's pretty easy. You just kind of pop it out. And the back of it has that little clip little on. Clip. Hopefully that shows up. Yeah, and then this clip can go onto your belt. So on the long hikes and you know, when your shoulders is tired and you're just kind of walking without, and it's not like a sketchy part, you can take that off and then hook onto your belt and then clip your camera on the size of your hip. So to alleviate a lot of the stress on your shoulder. The last time we did our hike, we did three peaks in Hawaii and it was pretty sketchy. So what Dustin did is that he not only used that, he also had uh, camera straps on top. So it's double secure just in case we fall off the cliffs or something. Yeah, my biggest concern <laughs> was that I'd be so excited about the hike that I would forget to do the lock. And then next thing I know, I go and I go boop and then, yep. Yeah. No more camera. So I, put, I, that little strap was a nice little piece of mine. It's a little cumbersome because since the camera is way up high, the, yeah. the strap kind of hangs down. But, you know, I just wanted to get the camera home. <laughs> it's not something that you would use all the time, but it's a nice additional feature that you can use if you want to double secure and, you know, keep your camera extra, extra safe. So. Definitely. And also that quarter 20 thread can come in handy if your tripod doesn't use an Arca Swiss type of plate. Like uh, I have one tripod that runs with a Manfrotto style plate. So I can thread that right in here and, you know, right off my shoulder, boom, right on to basically any type of tripod. So that's a really nice feature. It is. So one negative thing that we found about the backpacker is how difficult it was to install it onto your strap. It's really, really kind of tricky. I almost rage quit on he, quite he a few did. occasions. Yeah. I mean, it's, I guess it's, you know, once you, when it's on there, it won't come off. So that's one of the good thing. It's a very solid construction, but to put it on there, it's not very fun. So we're going to show you how to do it and hopefully you won't rage quit like we did. So. Yeah. So what I have here is the fully assembled backpacker with the back plate. The tricky thing is there's these two little lobes right here and you have to squeeze them and you have to kind of pop it off. You know what? That is, that's a miracle. <laughs> that is the easiest it's ever come apart. So I guess I owe it to you. Thank you to the viewers for giving me your juju or something. I think once you get a hang of it, it's not that difficult, but you have, I mean, it, it is difficult. You have to put a lot more pressure into it, but um, I think once you get a hang of it, it's not as bad. Yeah. So, so here we have, the backpack that we will be attaching it to for these purposes. So what we're going to do is you're going to take that back plate. You're going to put it around the strap with these little hooks facing up. Then you take this little rubber piece. You put that on top of those guys. And then we just take the backpacker. You get the hooks through. And then you put those little lobes on the bottom through. Oh, okay, okay. We're doing good, eh? And there it is. I don't know how it was so easy this time. This is, this I think is you insane. you it already, I so think it's it, make it easier. And then uh, one additional strap, uh, strap that they have included here is this little one that goes around the pad at the bottom. This is a nice little addition. So you just Velcro that guy on here and now it's really on there it's it doesn't slide up and down it just really stays on there really really well so there it is installed so now we've come to the moment of truth and it is time to attach the camera to the bag it's as simple as taking that little pin there and putting it right in that groove and if it's in the locked position you should hear a delightful little snap sound 
That's nice. Let's yeah. do that one one more time. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the sound of safety. Yeah, even one more time for those in the back. That's nice. That's nice. That's a very reassuring sound. I love that little click because then it lets you know that, you know, the camera actually in there and it stays in there. Yeah. And um, so once it's in there, the camera stays pretty securely uh, against your chest. Most of the time you won't really need any added um, security. But it does come with a nice little bungee cord right here on the side here for the super sketchy part uh, when we fell when we did three peaks in Hawaii when you need both of your hands coming up um, and we, we don't want <laughs> the camera to swing around. So you just kind of put the little strap around here and it's going to keep it from just very, very sturdy and safe and secure and it's just, just for added peace of mind. Yeah, this isn't going to let you get to the camera very fast, so no. probably in most cases you aren't going to be using this because it's going to slow, slow you down and when you're trying to get to it, but you know, it's something mainly for when things are going to get a little bit sketchy that you're going to want to put this on there, but I mean, as you can see, I mean, it is... It's on there. It's not going <laughs> it's anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. And so. um, another thing that we forgot to mention is that, at least for us, is that uh, it's, since the insulation is so tricky that if you have a, if you put on a bag, you're gonna stay with that bag unless you're a Superman and you just kind of squeeze this thing and take it out. Um, yeah. Not for us. Like, it took us forever to put this thing on, so they stay in the bag for a long time. So, yeah. so that's. Probably the only thing is not easily as you know taking this off and put it on a different bag. You kind of pick your favorite and you go with it, but for sure, it's nice when it's on there. I'll tell you that much. And on the topic of securing your camera, the lock actually has a couple of different positions. When it's all the way down, that means it is going to lock every time that you slide the camera in there. You can put it up and lock it up, and that means that it's pretty much open. So I mean, you can slide the camera in and out all the time you know that that's great if you're going to be getting to the camera a lot but my only fear is accidentally you know climbing up something my knee comes up hits the bottom of the lens and pops the camera right out so with the self-locking system if this little switch right here is turned down it's locked it in so that when you slide your camera in go ahead and do that um, if you want to get it out you have to pull this lever back up to get it out it's was well, it took a little bit to get used to because you know I when I first started using it I keep forgetting keep trying to pour it out but it takes like a few dry and then you remember how to do it it's pretty easy but I like it because it's locking it in and I don't have to worry about forgetting it so yeah and you can also just pull it part way up when it is locked part way up lets the camera come out and then the lock comes back in so next time you put it in it will lock again so there's that I really like it Easy. Yeah, one of my biggest fears, I think, when it came to this system is that I was afraid that I was going to forget that I don't have a strap on there anymore. Luckily, that hasn't been a problem. I think you feel it, like the way it's a little bit different and you feel that it's not attached. It's yeah, it, so. it feels way too, yeah, free. too free. Yeah, and, and then one of the other benefits that comes with it being free is the range of motion. When you have your camera strap on, you're kind of limited to, you know, the, Just, the length yeah. of the strap, but without it, I'm free to go, you know, way up over my head, all the way down to the ground. You know, you can do a lot of really cool camera moves. You don't have to take your strap on and off. So yeah. let's, let's make it a little bit easier for sure. And did you know all the Spido products are made in America? <laughs> As you may remember a little bit earlier on, we talked about how you can mount a GoPro on the backpacker, and it's pretty easy to do. All that you have to do is there is a second little lever here. You pop that bad boy up, and then the camera holder slides right off, and that's also the same way that you can put it on your belt. Mm -hmm. And you can use this little plate here, just slides right in. And then all you have to do is take your random action camera gopro in this case that has the little mount that you use for most of the other gopro mounts and it just snaps right in like that now this is a bit more of a stationary mount it's kind of a chest view if you're uh into that type of filming then that's perfect for you we we prefer typically to 
have it a bit too. more of a, a, a selfie stick style. So that way you can move it around. You can have more different angle instead of just one's, um, you know, stationary. And uh, in our opinion, this mount is kind of, it's pretty expensive just to hold a small camera like this one, the like $350 camera, and you're spending at least like $275 to $95, depends on what website you're looking at. So in our opinion, it's not really worth it to do this setup. Um, there are other ways that we can do that. In fact, we have a hack coming up in the next couple weeks of how you can mount and you know with a quick release uh, on the GoPro or an action camera for a lot less expensive. Yeah. Um, but if you really, really, really want to use this mount for a, a GoPro that have a quick, you know, quick access and quick release, uh, we do have a way to transform that. Yeah. So what you would end up doing is using the original uh, camera mount but you would have to end up finding some sort of a selfie stick like this one. This is a bit of an extreme case, but it needs to have a quarter 20 mount on the very end of it, and you need to buy this little pin from Spider. And believe it or not, this little, just this little metal pin here on the end was about $12 yeah. with shipping and handling everything. So that was a little bit crazy, but we used to have it on a much smaller stick, but unfortunately, uh, it got broken in a canyon. So all we're left with is this monstrous stick. But as you can see, it just goes on pretty much, you know, the same as other cameras. So you can do this, but like she said, it's it's a bit of a overkill type of setup if you're just gonna be running it for a GoPro. Because if you're doing this, your entire setup, let's say you pay $75 for it, and then plus $12, that's close to 100 just to hold a GoPro. So unless you're using this for both, for you know this little small Sony camera along with the GoPro, um, then you can do that. Otherwise, if you just want to carry your GoPro or your action camera, there's way better um, way to do it. So we'll show you that next week though, as promised. Stay so, tuned. Stay tuned. So what is the verdict? I really like it. We use it for almost a year, as we mentioned earlier, and it's really, I, I really like it. And there's a little you know, negative, like it's really, it's kind of pricey. There's little things here and there that, a little bit of a concern, but it's not a big deal. I, you you live with it, I think, and in, in my opinion, like, do you like it at all? Yeah, definitely. I think that the positives far outweigh the negatives in this case. I mean, it's a great way to hold your camera and to keep it kind of immobilized while you're doing these activities. You know, so that was like the top priority of yeah. what I was looking for in any way because. Yeah, I just remember trying to climb like mountains in Sedona and the camera's just like swinging <laughs> around sure. like Miley Cyrus on a wrecking ball. Yeah. And I'm like, I wish that this could not be doing that right now. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm I'm very pleased with it. The only thing is that it is, as you mentioned, is it is a little pricey. But for, you know, for the gear, like cost, like our camera was at least $3,000 plus all the, the camera lenses. So for for that investment of 100 bucks or less, um, we it's, I feel like it's worth it. I would not use it for just my GoPro, but rather than you know, for our, the actual camera. So if you just have a GoPro or a, um, an action camera, I don't think it's worth it for you to invest this money, but if you bringing the professional mirrorless camera with you, then I would definitely recommend, we would definitely recommend you to get this set up for sure, 100%. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So if you have any questions or comments, make sure you uh, comment below and let us know what you think. Or if you have any recommendations that you use that would work, we would love to check it out. Definitely. And if you want to support our channel, we love for you to like and subscribe and comment and it really help our channel to go up further. Um, don't forget to get ring the, forget. ring the bell, get that bell on, ring a ding ding. <laughs> Until next time, see you later. See you later. Bye.